now as you can see we're we're back in Maya 2011 here and we're just gonna well I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust the shirt here simply by selecting verts and using the soft modification tool to bring it out so that it's not impinging with the, the geometry of the body so I'm just selecting edges and selecting verts and scaling down the radius of the soft mod tool and scaling and, and, and moving just to make sure that the mesh isn't really impinging and there you can see I'm just you know selecting verts and just moving it on We'll do the same here for, for the sleeve and for the back. The key here is just, you know, basically get our rough shape and, and then we can we can go ahead and once we take it into ZBrush we can go ahead and change it as, as we see fit real simply. see on the arm there it's going to be a little bit troublesome to really go ahead and get it all to, to fit properly but you know it, that doesn't really matter here because this this body mesh isn't what we're really going to use to create the arms I've got arms that I've already pre-modeled from another from another project same with hair and, and shoes and we'll just import those in a later video because reusing 3D assets is, it, it, it's a good practice to use, um, there, in, unless the model is really, unless the concept art really calls for something totally specific that you actually have to model. Um, it's just better to, to reuse, your, reuse stuff and, and basically save yourself some time instead of having to create everything from scratch. There you can see them slowly and just bringing the verts out and, and making sure that the mesh isn't really impinging. And you can see where it's being a little bit troublesome in there. And that's okay. I mean, I can change that in ZBrush and, and fix it as, as needed. So I just turned off the soft modification tool and I have two verts selected. So I'll just deselect one or select the other one and, and pull this one out here. shape it a little more and that's pretty much the the basic shirt there um, I gotta you know pull these verts out here and pull that one up pull those couple on the back and just keep pulling and, and making them so that they're outside the mesh and then we can like I said adju keep adjusting them Later in ZBrush. You can see I, I, mar I mirrored it, but I have an issue where the the back parts aren't straight, so it wasn't mirroring properly. So I just basically selected them and scaled them to make them straight, and then just moved the verts back. So when I go to mirror it, it'll actually mirror properly. And there you go. I mean it, that's the basics of our shirt, and we'll just go ahead and pull these verts down. We'll scale them out and adjust them to 
fit what the concept looks like for the most part. I mean, I'm not going to recreate the the model that's actually in the image. Um, I figure I'll just base it off of it and, and go from there. And then we'll see what we have in the end. And If it turns out to be good, it turns out to be good. I'm just going to go ahead and pull these words down a little bit more here and so that it matches what I'm looking at in the concept. And as far as not really being able to see the concept, um, I have it on another monitor that I'm looking at, constantly looking at while I model. It's just that you guys don't see it. See, I'm just still shaping the verts and I'm doing it here and there. And I'm mainly pushing verts in like that to simulate how the the sweater is going to be sitting on top of the undershirt. Um, as for right now, I'm not sure if I'm going to sculpt each piece each piece individually, including the undershirt. Um, I may just sculpt the the sweater and the pants. Because if I 